today we're going to make a homemade lava lamp. This is an experiment that you can do with items that are already in your home. Make sure you always have an adult present anytime you're doing science experiments and never put anything into your mouth. Check with your adult regarding any safety equipment that you need to wear. Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. We have a Christmas themed science experiment. I'm so excited for Christmas. So remember, when you're doing science experiments, always have an adult present and never put anything into your mouth. What we're going to do now is pour some of our red and green food coloring into our oil. Okay, here we go. That looks pretty good. And next, I am going to put in some Alka-Seltzer tablets. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay, so oil and water do not mix. So oil doesn't change color because the food coloring is water soluble. Alka-Seltzer, see all that bubbling? It reacts with the water to make bubbles of carbon dioxide. The bubbles then attach themselves to the water uh, that's colored, and then it rises to the top. So when those bubbles burst, the color falls back down to the bottom. Whoa, this is so cool. It looks like a lava lamp. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle for Christmas. Hi friends, it's me, Amy. I have another science experiment for you. This one can be completed with things you probably already have in your house. Make sure when you're doing science experiments, you always have your adult around. So we have this Ziploc bag filled with water and several sharp pencils. What we're going to do is poke the pencils through the bag and it won't leak. Okay, here we go. This is so cool. Look friends, this is so awesome. So the water is barely even leaking out of this bag even though I've stuck pencils through it. You see that? Super cool. The reason is that when we poke through the bag, the molecules spread apart and seal themselves around the pencil so the water doesn't leak out. Remember, polymers, which is what this bag is made of, are chains of molecules that can be flexible. So what they're able to do when we poke holes through it is spread apart and seal around that defect in the bag. Pretty cool, huh? Look!
Professor Amy, I have another Christmas themed science experiment for you. Remember, always keep your adult with you when you're doing science experiments. This one is called Dancing Rice. So, I have baking soda, vinegar, rice, and water that I added a little bit of food coloring to for Christmas. First, what I'm going to do is add baking soda to both of my colored waters. Go ahead and give those a little stir. Okay, awesome. Now, what I'm going to do is dump in my rice. Swirls around, but as you can see, most of that rice settles down at the bottom of the cup. The reason is that the rice is denser than the water. Hmm, pretty cool. A little bit more. All right, it just floats to the bottom because it's heavier. So, next what I'm going to do is add in my vinegar. So pour in the vinegar. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Let's see here. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a stir. So, when you mix vinegar in with the baking soda, it creates carbon dioxide. And those carbon dioxide bubbles rise to the top and they can sometimes lift the rice as the carbon dioxide bubbles attach to the pieces of rice. They'll rise to the top. When the bubble bursts at the top and the carbon dioxide gas is released, then the rice floats back down to the bottom. I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar here. Got a little bit of snow on my glass. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add vinegar. Woo! Oh, so cool. You see the rice coming up with the bubbles? And the rice is dancing. This is so cool. So those carbon dioxide bubbles that are formed when the vinegar mixes with the baking soda, attach to the pieces of rice and they rise up to the top. When the bubbles pop and the carbon dioxide gas is released, the rice falls back down. So it looks like it's dancing. Let's do that one more time. It's me, Amy. Today we're going to be talking about healthy holiday foods. So, I have strawberries, some bell peppers, lettuce, and tomato. Strawberries, this little guy, are a great source of vitamin C, folate, and potassium. Bell peppers, see these guys here, red and green, they are a great source of vitamin A and vitamin C. Then we have lettuce. Mm, it's not just for rabbits. That's a great source of vitamin A, vitamin C, iron, and calcium. We have some romaine lettuce here. And then we have tomatoes. Tomatoes are a great source of vitamin C, vitamin K, folate, and potassium. 
So as you can see, this is a really healthy holiday themed red and green plate. You'll feel great after eating these healthy holiday colors with fruits and vegetables. I have so much energy!